Hey everybody, it's DJ Jerry here again. And uh, shop time, we are doing a little bit more in depth going into Show Express. Uh, now, one thing I wanna explain to you guys, uh, or girls, sorry, is uh, when you are actually creating your universe, and we're, that's what we're gonna do today, um, we're going to use the setup. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is if you have a current file or a current universe already created with your fixtures and things, um, you're going to erase those if you start adding or subtracting any fixtures uh, it, it's going to mess things up for you so we're going to start from scratch we're going to basically make a brand new light show right click ok and basically this is where you start uh you want to click on brand new hit apply settings now it says all applications must be restarted for new settings to take place. Click OK. And one thing I do just to be safe, yes, it shows that it's a, that it's it's working here. Um, but what I do is just to be safe, I just close this down because if you have live open or if you have your editor open, um, this is basically a hard shutdown. If you if you close the control panel down, it's going to shut everything down. So I always recommend just shutting it down. Now we're going to reopen the program, and you'll see it, it'll say brand new right here. Now, it's, again, it says no universe found because I do not have my dongle box plugged in. I'm going to show you. I'm actually going to restart this and show you exactly what it looks like when the dongle box is plugged in. So you can kind of see what you should be looking for when you're ready to run your fixtures. So I just plugged in my dongle box. Uh, it shows power going to my dongle box. When you open it up, it should say brand new Show Express 512. There you go, brand new, one universe found, Express 512. So basically it's saying that, yes, we detected the dongle and the little green light is blinking on the on the box itself saying PC link. That's blinking, letting me know that it is have it does have connection and it is getting signal. So to start off, we are going to open, uh, let's see, import fixture. Now we're gonna open up we're going to go to Chauvet and we're going to go to the DJ line. Um, let's see. Let's go to, let's go to a core three, but well, you know what? Yeah, we'll start out simple. Let's go to a core three by three. Um, and we're just going to do a three channel. You know what? We're going to get, we're going to get adventurous. We're going to go to a nine channel. So the things, the things that it's going to show you is the fixture setting. It's going to show you the actual fixture, how many channels that you have. And when you click on that, it's going to show you all the channels over here that are configured with that actual fixture. So right here, it's showing you that channel one is the dimmer. It's basically the brightness and the dimness of all of the lights or all the fixture itself. Obviously, there's like 30 some channels on this thing if you want it to really get advanced. Uh, and that's going to basically give you the opportunity to work with every single uh, cone on that uh, on that core. But uh, basically, your reds your greens, your blues. Now you're looking over here and you see levels. Basically it's saying at zero, that's the minimum. At full brightness of that color is 255. Uh, 255 is the highest channel or the highest level that you can have on a channel. Um, it's basically 100% if you want to consider it that way. Shutter, um, the shutter is going to be, and you can see it actually shows over here, it's the strobe function. It's the on off, um, you know, it's different than, than dimmer itself. Uh, imagine a, a camera shutter. Uh, when a camera shutter is shut, you get absolutely no light. And again, that's different than from the dimmer because you could have the shutter on and the dimmer on or off, uh, and it's going to do different things. So the color macros, um, this is where I'm going to scroll over here a little bit. Actually, let's just make this bigger. On uh, color macros, you can see at 0 to 10, there's no functionality. It's not doing anything. It's basically off at 11 to 30 so on your on your editor and again we'll get into those details on your editor 11 to 30 is these color options right here then it goes into these color options then it goes into these color options so on and so on so you can see red is 100 um green is 100 blue is zero and you know basically uh the the brightness this right here is actually the brightness difference uh, differentials that you'll see as you kind of move that fader up and down. So um, it goes all the way down here, color temperature, you know, same thing. It's basically how much uh, 
it's basically mixing these for you automatically. That's what a macro is. Um, it's kind of a, a pre-programmed um, effects macro if you want certain chases. And I got to tell you, the core three by threes have some amazing, uh, amazing chases. Uh, so if you're looking for a cool fixture to create some some neat, uh, well, wash, uh, some eye candy, you know, the core three by threes are a great fixture for that. Uh, the chases you can see here, uh, they've got chases that go at angles. They have chases that go across. They have chases that run. Um, so basically, these are the pre-programmed chases that that fixture has. Uh, effect speed, basically how fast do you want that chase to go? Do you want it to go uh, every two seconds? Do you want it to go, uh, you know, super fast? So it really, um, uh, it, it really gives you a couple different options for speed as well. So you can change the effect if you want it to be a slow or if you want it to be a fast effect. Uh, dip mode basically, <coughs> excuse me, basically is the, it's, it's like the overall dimmer option um, as, as that one is as well. So, uh, and those are just pre-built for you. Now, the next thing I'm going to click on is the DMX addressing. This is where you kind of go into um, creating your actual DMX addresses for your fixtures. So what you want to do is you want to just hold, or you can right click, add fixture DMX addressing, or you can just drag it and drop it. Then you're going to see this right here, DMX addressing settings. Now you have to have a name for it. And if you have say multiple fixtures, so for this one, we're just going to put core one. And um, by cloning, basically, it's going to give the same exact address to that fixture uh, that you're cloning. So if you have two and you want them both to start at DMX address one, then it's going to create that clone. And then when you do it in 3D view, um, it's going to have that, uh, that extra fixture with that same address. Uh, reverse pan, reverse tilt, um, a little bit, you know, it, it, those are probably going to be more for, well, obviously they're going to be more for moving heads and things like that. Now, here's the nice thing. You can see where it says address one. That is the address that it's telling you to start your fixture at. This right here, if you are using the regular, um, the regular dip switches, then it will show you the actual dip switch uh, configuration that you need to create this address. So for instance, we're just going to put 345. So if we have that fixture starting at 345, it's now telling you that one needs to be on, two needs to be off, three off, four on, five on. So using binary code, these numbers on and off create this right here, that 345. But we're just going to do channel one. We're going to hit save. And then you will see right here that it shows DMX. That's your address for it. This is the name, this is the actual fixture, and then this is how many you're gonna see in 3D view. So we're gonna add one more, and we're gonna call this one Core 2. And now you can see, since this fixture is a nine channel fixture, it is creating your next starting channel at channel 10, at address 10, I'm sorry. So over here, again, it's showing you that these numbers, or these dip switches, are going to create your number 10 address. Now you have to understand most of the new fixtures, they're mo most of them are digital. They don't have the dip switches anymore. But if you do have fixtures that still run the dip switches, this is a great feature because then you have to sit there and guess what dip switches to flip. So now we're going to, we're gonna add say two of this one, uh, just so I can show you a little bit of the differences. You hit save. Now it's saying this is starting at DMX 10. It's core two, this is the fixture. And this is how many you're gonna show up in 3D view. Again, just a very simple, uh, very simple process. Um, don't overthink this. And uh, when you're done, all you have to do is hit save. And when you minimize or close this, now we go into live and you now have your fixtures. So this is core one. And since core two has a, um, since Core 2 has a clone, you're only going to see one here, but when you go into 3D view, then you will actually see two of the Core 2s. Uh, that's kind of the quick rundown. The next thing we're going to go into is Editor and show you a little bit on what all of this is going to do for you, along with what all these buttons are and, and why they're important to know how to utilize. Um, we'll give you a quick rundown. 
Uh, the next video is actually probably going to be a little bit more on explaining what this is, the durations, what this screen involves, what the group keys are, and also um, what all this is here too. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have questions, <coughs> excuse me, if you have questions, feel free to email me, jeremy at djjrshoptime.com. Look forward to walking you guys through the rest of the process here, and hopefully you guys uh, learn a little bit of something about what we can provide. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.